All right, so you'll notice uh, we got some old school OGs here. It looks like they're doing really well in my Type 2 Media Blend. So with TC, plants are like pretty finicky, you know? Like, for example, Babe, not a huge fan of Media Type 1, right? Like what the fuck is going on there? So you gotta do a little experimenting to find you know, what likes what. I mean, Poison obviously didn't like Type 1, but for example, Lemon Tree doesn't love Type 2, but is workable. Uh, there's another Skywalker, right? Like the OGs, all the OGs really like um, like Type 2. Um, Z Clair, which has a lot of OG in it, obviously is a big fan. Type 2. Now, this is multiplication media, not rooting media. But what's interesting is Z Claire really wants to root and obviously did create roots as Type 2. So, the only unfortunate part about this is that this is a stage 1 culture, meaning that this, there's a little bit of this plant that came from a plant that's just growing, you know, in normal conditions. So what I like to do is we take an X plant, which can look as small as, let's see if I can find a good one. Like this, for example. Nope. In focus. There we go. Or smaller. You know, this is just a this is a nodal culture that came from Americulture. But we'll start at about that size, and then we'll grow it out, and then we'll take cuttings off of the plant inside the tubes and then that plant the fresh growth the fresh cells right all of this tissue was grown in vitro so none of this is original tissue from a plant grown you know normally right so now this fresh sterile tissue plant which will be in here for I mean this was initiated sometime in November, end of November or so. It takes about 30 to 45 days in order to take cuttings. And then eventually you're left with something like this, which, so this is stage two, meaning that this is all fresh, fresh growth. So now this will be removed and put into a new gel in order to root. So the only issue with this guy is that this is stage one. We don't really want it to root in, in stage one. So I've obviously made a mistake somewhere along the line. But no matter, we will still remove and propagate this into some of these stage two containers where the plant can be as small as, let's see, I can find a good, like a new one. There we go. Little tiny baby plant. And then that will grow up into something like this, for example. And that will go and be rooted and then once it's rooted, we will acclimate it back into normal conditions where this will be our new mother plant. So it will effectively have been reset, supercharged with our specific media blend here, which is designed 
to reinvigorate the genetics. And then we have essentially the same vigor as this plant when it was first uh, germinated. Maybe the very first time this, this Skywalker OG Kush was ever grown. Sometime in the 90s or late 80s, who, who knows exactly. Well, that's tissue culture for you. Grown in a pop top. You know, it doesn't have to be fancy. Some people will tell you it does, but you know. They also want to charge a ton of money and make it seem as though that this is rocket science. This stuff was invented in the like 30s. It was theorized in the 1800s. They thought we could probably grow plants in test tubes in the 1800s. Can you imagine? They didn't, you know, you're riding your horse. They're like, oh, I wonder if I could grow a plant in a test tube. Like, yeah, turns out you can. And today, in the future, where everything's available quick on Amazon and you can use the internet to source, you know, the sum of mankind's knowledge. You too can grow plants in a test tube. Or in a pop top or any vessel you can autoclave and sterilize. Doesn't matter. Maybe it does. I don't know. Still learning. <laughs>